Here's a map of the entire world, and here is a dart. Wherever this lands, I'll be flying there and spending the next 24 hours there. Where are we going? <laughs> Right after throwing the dart on the map, I booked my flight, packed my bags, and headed to a new country with no plans at all. When I get to this country to make sure I explore it properly, I'll have some challenges to complete before I'm allowed to leave. Visit a famous location, learn a new skill, go to an event, face a fear, do something a country is known for, do something with a stranger, and sleep in a unique hotel. So we arrived late night at the airport, we're extremely tired, and we booked the first hotel we saw. We were greeted with a cinema screen, a karaoke machine, and one of those special, special toilets that we all want to try. It's got one of those bathrooms that sprinkle your ass. Let's see what this saying does. Let me get this one now. Oh! I then had the fastest sleep of all time, literally one second and the day changed. But now we were ready to explore what this country is all about. But you must be wondering, where are we going? <laughs> oh my God, is that North Korea? Oh! <laughs> Japan, Japan, baby! <laughs> Do I really have to explain where I am? I'm in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. This country is known for its technology, vending machines, video games, anime, and seafood. Which sounds great, but I have ichiophobia, a fear of fish and seafood. And I'll be facing my fear by eating fish for the first time later in this video. I'm telling you right now, Japan is everything I imagined it. Very quiet. One of the first things I noticed when I walked into Shibuya Square is that amount of people that were queued up to take a picture with a poster and not me. But luckily I did get to meet some of you guys. And I saw this as an opportunity to complete my first challenge. Can we go arcade? Okay. arcade right here? Yeah, okay, sure. I think it's in here. Is this gambling or an arcade? I think this is gambling. It's gambling. We can be. Oh, it's gambling. <laughs> sorry, sorry. This looks so cute. How can that possibly be gambling? Oh, here we go. Play game. It's very simple. Just straight to the point. Different type of arcade. Let's go. Oh! oh. It, it, this is built for us. Okay, let me take some cash out. Let's go. What, you love me? You can beat me at Mario Kart. Little do these guys know that I'm the Mario Kart expert. So whoever comes first, yeah. gets a little prize, okay, if you beat me. Surely that's racially motivated. No, it's not. It's not racially motivated. <laughs> <laughs> the race started and I was doing pretty good. Well, I am a professional Mario Kart player at this point. Why are you first, little brother? No! He's good, he's good, he's good. I was last for a split second, then I shot my way up to first place. There's no way I'm going to lose to this kid. No! No! This is very embarrassing. I'm pretty sure one of the guys was hacking, and I was thrown off by the racism at the start. So I won him some gifts for finishing above me, but we've only been in Tokyo for about an hour, and we've already completed our first challenge. Peace out, guys. See you later. But we're almost 10,000 miles away from home, a whole new country and continent. We can't just stay inside and play games. We have to go out in Japan and explore. All right, behind me, you can see real life NPC. Thing needs to get updated right now. Hi. Hi, yeah, how's it going? Oh, wait, but you don't like dogs, do you? Wait, please, please! I'll go in. If you hear anyone screaming in there. That's you guys? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's me. So this place the girl's talking about is the Shiba Cafe. It's basically a cafe, but with the most famous dogs in the world. What are they famous for? Scamming kids. They made a coin about you guys. I told them not to dump. I know, I know, I know. How do you feel about that? <laughs> that's a good response. Good response. <laughs> Since the dogs were acting so bougie, I said goodbye, and next door there was an otter cafe. If the otter bites you, then you die. We are not responsible for any of your actions. Slowly realizing that this was not a cafe, this was a lair where we've been dragged into. No food, no drink. How could you even call this a cafe? They're beefing, they're beefing, they're beefing, they're beefing, they're beefing. I think we just got scammed by two different types of animals. But that's another challenge completed, and then we got into a car with no real plan. No, nice one. You're a very nice guy. Thank you very much. My name's AJ. Met Carlos, and he said he knew a spot to experience culture. Behind me may look like a regular building. But inside here is one of Japan's oldest and still going Ninja Samurai Dojo. So what is your name? Uh, Gintaro, Gin. Me, Gin. He's going to teach me everything I need to know about becoming a Samurai Ninja. I learned how to sneak, how to dodge, how to wield a sword, throw a ninja star, <laughs> use a blow dart. And after all my training, it was finally time to test my skill against Jin himself in a 1v1 battle. Fight! 
Unfortunately, we had to stop this battle and call it a draw because Jin himself said I was too powerful and that I would defeat him. But that's another challenge completed. However, it's now time to move on to one of the most dangerous challenges of them all. All right, Japan has been great to me so far, but there's something I've been avoiding on my list, facing one of my biggest fears. And um, I think I know exactly what that is. In my life, I've never been scared of anything apart from something that is found in the depths of the sea. Not the Kraken, not the Megalodon, and not the Loch Ness Monster. I am afraid of fish. I've never tried seafood in my entire life. Even in videos, every time it comes up, I have refused. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. We don't eat fish, bro. But this is a video all about adventure and going out of my comfort zone. So I decided this is the perfect opportunity to face one of my biggest fears in my life. This is a fish only restaurant. This first time. is the first time he's ever eaten fish. Oh, you know already eat fish? Yeah, no, never mind. I'm a bit scared because I haven't eaten fish before. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. I got attacked by a fish. Ah! Oh, dude, by the way, you look like a sangly um, Lucy Vera. <laughs> but you want to make it worse? You have to catch the fish yourself. About to, about to fish. Come on, boys. Oh, gosh. Right, oh my god! I don't want to put you in an annoying situation, but everyone thinks like you are really Lucy Vera. They come like to ask you for a photo or <laughs> offer something. I am, I am. <gasps> oh my god. 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 Come on. Come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go! Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, sorry guys, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, guys. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I like it. Oh. I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. We've caught our fish. It's time to prepare this now. Yeah, come on, man. I've got, I've got a song that goes, it do not matter. Fuck, it's got fire, she call me daddy. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. It's a little easy verse here. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, come to my show next time, alright? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this. They actually thought I was Lil Uzi Vert. Probably because of the height. <laughs> but because of that, they gave me special access to the kitchen to see them cook the fish I just caught. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Thank you so much. How was it? It means a lot to me that I got to see everything. No problem. Can we go now? I had fun. What? Should I try to start, start with deep fried? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, my days. Why can't I do this? It smells alright. This, this one smells alright. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, 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 Alright. Oh. Good? Bad? <laughs> <Is it> good? <laughs> you like it? How many years? <laughs> 20, 20 years of sucking <laughs> good fish. That's very nice. Very good? That's very nice. Out of 10, out of 10. Solid 8. Solid I get it solid. It's nice. It's very nice. Very good. I can't believe it. This is actually amazing. I tried loads of other fish too, and I can't believe that I've been missing out on this my whole life. Trying fish like that for the first time was crazy. Oh my god, it was so nice as well. And I'm Louis Ver. I said it don't matter. It was then time to explore Tokyo's nightlife. What's up my friend? How you doing? How are you? I'm just chilling, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just taking the view, man. I'm yeah, I hear that, I hear it. I'm taking a picture of you. Oh, do you mind? I, I could be a photographer, yeah. <laughs> Meet Nathan. He's a stranger right now, but I see that we're gonna become good friends here and hopefully he's gonna help me complete my next challenge. You wanna do something? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll. Are you gonna get up to something? Yeah. What do you wanna do? Should we go in here? <laughs> karaoke? Karaoke. That's us. Let's do it. We gotta do karaoke. Let's go. Let's, let's go find out some parties. What's in here? There's no party in here. There's a party in there, though. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Can I join you guys? Can I come sit with you guys? There wasn't much English in there, but I reckon we could join. Do you know much Japanese? I don't know. Translator. Maybe just put in there. We have no friends. Can we join for five minutes? All right, I'll do the next one. We end up trying a lot more doors, and um, no one was letting us in until this happened. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hey, let's go. Yeah, problem. Baby, baby. Oh. So we jumped in, we had fun. That shows you, you need to keep trying and you'll get in somewhere. Take care. Look after yourself. Thank you for saying yes. That's all good. I'm telling you right now, I think this is one of my favorite places that I've been. I love it. It's, it's literally living up to its 
expectations. Anyways, I was heading to my next challenge until I ran into these guys. Oh my day! You guys came all the way here for a game. Yeah, I'm currently game. here with the football team in Australia called King's School, right? Yeah. yeah! And basically they've got a football game tomorrow and I wanna come to you last game and watch yeah. it. Now that we have a football match we're attending tomorrow, we need to finish our last challenge. Sleep in a unique hotel. And our driver knew exactly where he wanted to take us, to one of those capsule hotels. They gave me these cult-like robes. I think I'm joining some witchcraft activities. But before I go into the capsule, I wanted to explore this hotel. It had a spa, an all-you-can-eat and drink lounge. It had an anime library. But it was time for sleeping, so I headed to my capsule. All right, I'm in my pod and it's actually pretty nice. It's got a TV. Headphones, it's got a mirror, it's got a speaker system. This is very nice for how cheap this is. This is how cheap it is. Today's been crazy. There was some special stuff to me tomorrow. I'll be very honest with you, had a great sleep. It's all the hotel supposed to be for, right? Capsule Hotel. And now, it's time to complete the final challenge, which was going to the football match we got invited to last night. We arrived at the football ground, met the team that we met last night, and with the boys' energy, we're really gonna win this game. Kings on three! One, two, three, Kings! Predictions on the game? 3-0. 3-0 to you guys. You win, yeah. Yeah, 3-0 to you guys, that's what we like to hear. The game got off to a great start as we went up just after six minutes. Oh, let's go! But then... Oh. Sometimes it's just about turning up. I don't know. I'm not coach. Now that the game's ended, we've completed every single challenge on the list. Japan has been absolutely amazing. I've seen a lot, I've learned a lot, and I've met a lot of friends along the way. Over 24 hours ago, we booked our tickets across the world with no plan at all, and we've made an amazing journey from it. Japan's been one of my favorite places I've ever visited, and I'll definitely be back. And in that whole time, I did learn some Japanese. Sayonara. It means goodbye if you guys don't know.